Welcome back to the Big Build series. I'm Robin Clevett, I'm out on site and we are at the stage where we're gonna do our first bit of masonry demolition. So we've had all of these roof structures up to a point out of the way. Now we don't wanna, we will leave this now. We don't need to do this just yet. We need to get this wall out of the way just here, right back to that corner and right back to this corner. And then we can put our concrete oversight in, finish the oversights off, get them up to um, DPC effectively and the bricklayers can then start, they can get up to wall plate height and we can start really getting into the construction. Now I'm super pleased we've had this tin lid because yesterday and the day before we've had some biblical rain and I was at home yesterday evening and I've had my house for six years and I've seen heavy rain but what I saw yesterday was unbelievable. Take a look at this. I am witnessing rain like I've never witnessed it before we've had about half an hour 30 minutes of the most torrential rain i've been have sort of living here for years and it is literally flooding the garden going out down around the house it is just unbelievable i've never seen it rain like it now and i would say that i'm in the middle of a one in a 10 year event it is absolutely phenomenal we've had heavy rain here obviously but it's never ever flooded to the level that it's flooding at the moment. It's unbelievable. So hopefully, I'll just have a look out the front here. It's, it's madness. I've never seen anything like it. Fortunately, our house slopes towards the road, so we have ourselves a river now out here. I mean, that is absolutely phenomenal. So how we're we gonna do this, it's really quite simple. Now what we've got is we've got an existing internal wall which is block work and that was run round. This is the original wall of the building and when it was a piggery, this old solid skin of brickwork here and it's all over the place. It's moved all over the shop over the years. So they went round the inside and lined it with lightweight concrete blocks, maybe for insulation, maybe for a bit more roof load strength, who knows, but it's not particularly good. It's not tied in anywhere. They've got polystyrene insulation. So we're gonna basically, we'll pull all of the inside off first onto that old floor so we can shovel it up, get it into the dumper, get it onto the muck pile. And basically then we'll go around doing the outside. Now we're gonna do it in um, course by course, take the windows out as we go, but I'd imagine that there's not a lot holding this wall. If you can just see, I'm just using a little bit of leverage here and it's just wanting to go. It's only the plasterboard, I reckon, that's over the top of there, that bit, that's keeping it all together. The whole thing is just gonna basically fall off, which is nice. So we'll get that all down. Shame we can't use those blocks again. What with the price of materials and the shortages at the moment, it would be amazing, wouldn't it? but we can't do that. But some of these old bricks here, if they cleaned up, I mean, they're absolutely beautiful. This is probably, the, this is the second time they've been used, I'd imagine. They could be used for a third time. Anyway, so we're gonna get on and get this out of the way. This is a nice piece of oak though. We can try and reuse that somewhere. It's kind of like their bresima or lintel. Um, so we can probably use that again. I'll just flick that down onto those blocks there. That'll be all right, but there's nothing to it. Look at this, look, I mean, look. Is that just absolute, absolute pants, that? The whole place is just rubbish, crap. You ever seen anything like this? It's just, oh, never seen anything like it. What's that there? Concrete, looks like a concrete plank lintel. It's probably going all the way through, which is no good either. But there you go, let's get this smashed out. So the old walls here and we're sort of unravelling all of the work that went before. A little bit like this opening here for a window. Let's just smash through it any old fashioned. Let's not bother cutting it nice and straight. 
Look, just smash through it. And I'd imagine that this window has got no more than the little bit of foam that I can see holding it in. And then there's this sill, which has been fashioned out of some sort of three quarter inch MDF and some sort of, oh my God, what is this? Oh yeah, look at this, look. That's what you call a quality bit of insulating work or I think they're more disposing of waste than they're insulating. Look at that, look, bloody hell. Let's just fill it up with whatever old rubbish and crap we can find. Do you know what I mean? Look at this, look. This is outrageous, isn't it? And it's just like, this is building work? I don't think so. I think this was, I think this was some mad homeowner who didn't want to pay the price of a decent tradesman or building company. They just thought, oh, anyone can do this. The same old thing you hear as a tradesman. They say, oh, how much are you going to charge me to do that? Well, it's because we'll do it properly. And it won't be like this, because this is basically, I mean, look at this. It's absolutely shocking. It's like a rubbish tip. Anyway, I can't wait to get it out of the way because it's all a load of old crap. So one thing you really need to remember when you're doing any kind of demolition, so what we're doing here is we're just taking it course by course, we're working from our hop ups and we're just cutting the course off and we're putting it into the griller tubs, they're going out to the dumper, it's going in the dumper, dumpering it round to where the grab will come and collect all that hardcore. So I mean an old structure like this, this particular structure is all over the place, I mean if I put a level on here and hold this somewhere near plumb, you can see by the time we get to the bottom, we're the best part of 100 millimetres out. So if you're doing any kind of demolition, let's say for example, this wall was freestanding, that's particularly dangerous because it's already halfway ready to sort of fall over, if you like, so you've got to be so careful. So we're literally coming, we're going to take the top round at the same level, just keep going round, keep going round, um, you know, if there wasn't the fact we've got this nice new work here, you could pull it over with a machine if you wanted to. A lot of people do pull them over with a machine. You've just got to be super careful. Um, all this kind of stuff, demolition, working with, you know, materials which are dangerous. You might cut yourself. Obviously, you should really wear gloves and stuff like that. We're lucky here that there's not really a lot of dust. We're almost working outside. So we, although we have got masks, sometimes we don't really need to use them because we're literally taking one brick at a time, one brick at a time. Um, and we're clearing as we go. The worst thing is when you've got a whole heap of muck on the floor and you've got to start picking it out. So I find straight from the wall, straight into the tubs on the shoulders, straight out. And that works wonders. So we're going to crack on, take a bit more masonry off now and get you out of it.
Lads have done really well. They've got half the wall down. You can see the line of the new extension there running all the way through. It certainly is a big build, this. Let's just give you a bit more of a, a look at this. There's the old relic down there, and that's Andy as well. So the wall is all removed, now we've got it all out, we've taken it right the way back down to the level of our hardcore of these oversights here. Now we're blinding this hardcore with soft sand and the idea of that is that you just flatten it off, make it dead smooth so when we put our damp proof membrane on it doesn't get punctured when the weight of the concrete goes on it or if someone's walking around, which you inevitably do, when you're laying concrete. So. We are there now. The next process is, as I say, get all of this whacked down, compacted to the right level, and we're there. Fortunately, as well, that when they did some refurbishment work here before, they did incorporate a damp proof membrane under their slab here. This slab runs right the way underneath. This was the line of the wall, you can see that the wall is still in, in this position. So we've been able to get that right the way down to the level of the hardcore. So our new slab will go right over and virtually be the full thickness over the top of their structural oversight that they had as well. It's looking good now and I'm standing in what will be the dining area. The kitchen area is gonna be at the far end there. And it's gonna be a really nice space, staircase for here, running round up into the roof. It's gonna look sweet. We're just about to pour our concrete oversights. So you saw us do all of the hardcore. We then blinded it with sand. And now we've got our damp proof membrane. So this is the damp proof membrane. Buy it on big rolls. You roll it out, tape any joints that you've got, lap them, tape them. So basically this is gonna stop any damp wanting to come up through that hardcore and get into the underside of the concrete slab. The concrete slab, is just over 100 millimetres thick and it bears on 50 millimetres of sand that's actually whacked down onto 150 millimetres of hardcore onto, directly onto the ground underneath. So we're just waiting for our pump and our concrete that's going to arrive any minute. We're going to get it all poured in. I have got my laser set up ready to the level of the concrete. I'll just whack that on and you'll be able to see that in action so we'll just turn it on here turn this on and sorry about the beeping I know people dislike it but and then you can see wherever we are that's the depth of the concrete for example So when the pump comes in and starts putting the concrete in, we'll use this with this on the bottom and we'll spot it all in, we'll let it come in. I'll have my Wellington boots on or concrete in boots and we'll just go around getting it all leveled to there. It's a really nice job. And then we'll tamp it. The name of the game is to get it as flat as possible because on top of this eventually there'll be PIR insulation and then a decoupling membrane, which is another sheet of plastic, and then the screed, and that gets us up to finished floor level, which is here. So, that's it. Let's get this concrete in.
That concludes this episode. We've done demolition, we've taken the roof off, we've completed our oversights, we've got our damp proof membrane in, we blinded it with sand, we've concreted it all, it's come out really nice. And the best thing is now that frees up the brick layer to come in and start building the walls, getting me up to roof level. But in that time, while he's doing that, or while we're waiting for him to get back to do that, we're working out all the roof. I've been measuring every single section, talking to my engineer, coming up with a scheme, joist layouts, rafter layouts, etc. Also with my customer, discussing a few finer details like the staircase, etc., and making the best of the space that we've got to play with. So thanks for joining me on The Big Build. I'm really enjoying doing this series for you. If you're not following me on Instagram, why don't you check me out there at Robin Clevett and I will see you all soon.